Good morning, North Point. It's October 8th, 2015, and I'm Trevor Fryman. And I'm Mary Wycombe. And, and wake, wake Up North Point starts right now. In school news, it's Deep Thinking Thursday. Remember, teachers, for the rest of the week, your A&H classes will be in the gym to work with our guest artist. Also, today, we have 4th through 5th Panther Awards. We'll see those in just a bit. Let's take a look at today's weather. One more unseasonably warm day with highs approaching 80 degrees this afternoon. Clouds will increase today with a stray shower possible between 2 to 8 p.m. The best chance of showers moves in Friday morning as a cold front approaches from the west. We will have a hit and miss rain with a few rumbles of thunder. Highs will stay in the low 70s without much sunshine. Now on to our word of the day. Today's word is subona, which means to suppose. Now on to lunch. Lunch today will be chicken nuggets, oven roasted chicken, mashed potatoes, California vent blend of vegetables, tossed salad, fresh vegetable medley, juice orange wedges, mixed fruit, hot rolls. Now on to Studio B for Panther Awards. Good morning everybody. We're ready for our Panther Awards and we have our first person is going to be Mary Wyckoff who's helping out. So Mary, congratulations, you get one of those uh, Panther Awards, and I'm gonna give you this. Wave at your friends out there. Congratulations, there it is. All right, uh, we're waiting on a couple kids. I need, um, if they're still in the classrooms, Ashlyn Terry, Rachel Berkeley, and uh, Austin to come on down because they're not here yet. Mary Humbledorf, you're the next person to get your Panther Award, congratulations. There you go with that. And you get your dog tag and wave at your friends. Excellent. Elena Keller, come on up, Elena. Congratulations on your Panther Award. There we go. All right. Michael Packwood, congratulations, Michael. There you go. These fifth grade heads are getting awfully big there. Aiden Senegal, Senegal. 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 Thank you, Aiden. There you go. Congratulations, buddy. Awesome. Very good. Um, let's see. I'm waiting on... Oh, Ashlyn is here. I'm sorry. I called you before. You're already here. Ashlyn, way to go. Awesome job. Congratulations. Austin McCombs. Come on up, Austin. Congratulations, buddy. There you go. There's your certificate. Come on over here by Miss Simon. <laughs> there we go. Great job. Um, is Rachel Berkeley here? I don't see Rachel. Uh, Everett Hall. I don't. He's not, he's not here today. So I think that concludes our Panther Awards. Remember, if you follow your paws, P A W S. Practice safety, act respectfully, work responsibly, and strive for your personal best. You too could be receiving one of these coming up soon. So always strive for your personal best. And now we're going to stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> to start off headlines, we're talking about a mammoth. A barn in southeast Michigan suddenly has become a natural history museum since bones from a woolly mammoth were discovered by a farmer while he was digging in a soybean field. More than 200 people have stopped at Jim Russell's farm in Washington County, west of Am Harbor, since Friday. They have been driving into Chelsea, the closest town, and asking for directions. Scientists from the University of Michigan and excavated. Ex Excavator recovered about 20% of the animal skeleton last week in Lima Township. Aside from the pelvis, they found the skull and two tusks, along with numerous vertebrate, vertebrae, ribs, and both sh and both shoulder blades from a woolly mammoth that lived as long as 15,000 years ago. And that's a wrap of today's headlines. On this day in 1871, flames spark in Chicago barn of Patrick and Kathy O'Lean igniting a blaze that kills between 200 and 300 people. And now for our fun fact, did you know that Cleopatra lived closer to the invention of the iPhone than she did to the building of the Great Pyramid? Really? It's true. 
Have a great day, North Point. We'll see you next time with some more great news. And remember, North Point, keep your paws up. Make it a great day or not, the, the choice, choice is yours. yours.